What's up guys, it's Midget HD here. I have another unboxing for you today. This is a Gemini 200 Qantas A330 200. This was part of the um, Gemini May releases. And I got it here on Friday the 13th. It took a week to get here. Um, order on Easy Toys. Not much else to say about that. Um, let's have a look around the box. There's the 2D picture of the aircraft. Uh, look around the sides of the box. That was pretty standard to me. Nothing much. Just the opposite sides are basically the same. Um, yeah, we have some details about Gemini idea Jets bringing you the best quality models. Uh, official licensed product of Qantas. Um, blah blah blah. Okay. Now I've I tried taking this model out of the box to see if it would come out easily. And bad thing I well actually good thing I did try it because it took a long time to get out. It was stuck in there. It, and I, I don't want to really put the polystyrene back in the box because I mean I'll probably never take it out. It could I, I might never take it out again because it's so difficult to take out. But um anyway here it is here's what's in the box. Uh Gemini Jet stand. Some screws there. Um then we have the the metal piece, the um stand with the blue film, light blue film over there to protect the metal. I'll put the stand together um, after I pause the video to sort out all the stuff inside the box. And there we have it, the model. Qantas AP30-200. Just some plastic. Okay. I'll pause it here and I'll get everything ready. Okay, I am back and the model's out of the box. Show you around the aircraft. Okay. Actually, give me a second, I'll just bring my stand down because it's um, a little too high up. Sorry about the weight. Okay, same with the cockpit, we have um, cockpit windows, please focus, cockpit windows, uh, window wipers with the nose cone, with the markings on the nose cone, um, I can show you the writing at the front, can't actually read what it says with the naked eye, Barossa Valley. Barossa Valley. I'm not sure where that is in Australia. If it is in Australia, it probably is. Because um, that's what you name your aircraft after. You name them after places in your country or people, whatever. Um, and here we have the nose gear. Part of the registration, BG. And then we have the Qantas titles. Spirit of Australia. We have one world logo there, really, really small. Um, not like the Sky Team or Star Alliance logos, which you can see quite easily. Uh, another one world logo next to the second cabin door. Then we have, oh, I should show you, there's uh, some of the pedo tubes and stuff down there at the front. Uh, coming along the wing, we have the engine with the Qantas logo, the flying kangaroo. Um, on the engine cowling, uh, we have the red winglet, uh, and there's a red uh, dot there, which is um, the navigation light. And back on the fuselage, we have Airbus A330. Damn clock. Okay. Um, we have the Australian flag and um, the registration. Oh my god, fine. Okay, give me a second, guys. 
Sorry for the shortcut there guys. Quite a few interruptions, just the phone and the clock. Okay, um the registration um is V H E B G um Victor Hotel Echo Bravo Golf. Um then you have the rear um cabin door. Then we have the flying kangaroo tail, which is the new I think it's the new scheme of Qantas, yeah. I think the easy, best way to tell us the new scheme is that um, the Spirit, the Qantas logo used to be smaller, used to be just uh, the, uh, um, there was a gap between the windows and the Qantas logo and that gap was filled by the Spirit of Australia um, writing. And that's, how, that's one way you can tell it's the new scheme. And uh, very, very detailed APU. Very nice, and then coming to the front of the plane again. We have the Barossa Valley writing. Okay, it's not focusing. Okay, um, cockpit. First cabin door. Uh, we have a cargo door at the front there with the, the grey outline. Uh, we have part of the registration on the gear again, BG. Second cabin door, we have the Qantas titles, Spirit of Australia, uh, some pedo tubes at the front, coming along the wing. Knocking everywhere, sorry. Uh, with, well, we have the, um, on the engine, we have the flying kangaroo on the outside of the engine cowling. We have the red winglet and the green navigation light. Then we have A330 and then Australian flag there and registration. Then we have the cargo rear cargo door, and then the little little door to the left of it, the very small door. That's the um, this one right here. It's the uh, luggage door. Um, and then we have the flying kangaroo on the tail there. Now, now I'll just give you a look on the top of the aircraft. Okay, starting at the front of the plane, we have an antenna right there. This little bump here, that's probably for, um, like, Wi-Fi usage and just people wanting to use the internet. Uh, beacon light. We have the markings on the wings, very nice. Flaps, flaps and slats. Uh, and the winglet markings on the side as well. Same thing. And then we have right there another antenna and then another one here close to the tail. Now on the bottom of the aircraft we have the main landing gear, uh, not main landing gear, nose, uh, nose landing gear. Um, we have the gear doors. Moving down we have an antenna right there. Doesn't really stick out that much. Beacon light hole for the stand, uh, main landing gear and the main landing gear doors, the engine, nice markings underneath as well, very 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 good detail. I'm not surprised because they say they're the best and uh, well, I guess it's been proven. We have the registration there, and back down, we have Gemini Jets logo and then two antennas, one right there and one there. This one sticks out, this one doesn't. Um, and then we have, I think that's the doors for the for when there's a tail strike, so the little, when the little thing comes out on takeoff and landing. And there we have it. That's the details of the aircraft. I'll show you what it looks like on the stand now. Looks very, very nice. Look at that in uh, takeoff position. Seems really high though, because of the way the stand is, it doesn't matter. I'll just show you the uh, engines real quick. Uh, they do. Just didn't grab my thing. Uh, they do. Turn if I can show you. Yeah, there we go. Um, one of them doesn't turn that well, I don't think. Yeah, it's alright. 
and then you can see the markings on the inside of the engines that, that little um, spiral on that thing I'm not sure what it's called again uh, just to stop birds from flying into the engines as they stupidly do sometimes um, and there we have if you can see there and right there we have um, two uh, landing lights on the nose gear and I have to say I'm not I'm not a Qantas fan nor am I an Airbus fan either I quite like the A330s I mean they're, they're quite nice um, this just seems slightly out of proportion like the 787-8 but I mean it looks looks amazing I, I have to admit it does look amazing um, I was tossing up between the 737-800 uh, because they fly into Auckland as well um, these uh, they bring these into Auckland but seasonally and they fly them to Perth um, either A330-200 or the 300s um, but I decided to get this because I'm I'm more of a lover of the bigger aircraft so that's why I um, got this instead one more thing I should show you is that once up closer is that the the gears this turns into any direction you want when it's on the tarmac um, this gear doesn't tilt so much tilts back it should be tilting forward um, yeah as I showed you in the last video it's I see if this one does the same it has, it has the problem where it likes to sit back on just the main gears yeah this one does the same as well it just sits back but at least this, the back of it doesn't touch the the ground and there you go shows you in takeoff position there it's um I don't know if this was part of the feature it probably wasn't it just it's just there um, but yeah that's another another way you can display it I guess um, but anyway that's this is the model here and uh, yeah this uh, reviews kind of well, unboxing slash reviews shorter than my other ones but um it deserves no less attention. It's a great model, made by a great company, and I'm very happy to have it. Uh, and it's, I highly recommend this model. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, as I said, I'm not a Qantas nor my Airbus fan, but this looks really, really good. Um, so I bought, if you want to know, I think I already said I bought this off Easy Toys. Yeah, I did. Um, so get it quick, I mean this will sell out, it hasn't sold out in the pre-order, but these are going fast. I've seen a couple places um, where stock's, you know, already gone, so I mean, get it, because it, it will go. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll leave it there, and please subscribe, like the video, um, share it with your friends get more views, more views I get, the more I can bring to you, more subscribers, um, you know, it just, just keeps, keeps it going, just, um, I like your support and everything, I mean, I get comments on my videos, I will reply to them, um, just because I don't get many of them, uh, but yeah, I have, a, I have some more models coming, I have some JC Wings models coming, uh, from the April and May releases, so check those out, they could be here tomorrow, um, you never know, but check back, yeah, make sure you subscribe, um, that's the best way to keep in the loop, and uh, anyway, this is me, um, Midget HD, with the Qantas A330-200, and as always, I'll see you guys later.